Class example 3.34 puts little spin on what would otherwise be a relatively straightforward question. Here, we're told that a student will use an algebraic approach to solve an equation, log base 16 of 8 times the cube root of 4, which is equal to x. Because the equation is already solved for x, we effectively know the value. So if this question just asked for the numeric value of x, perhaps to the nearest tenth, we could type this in our calculator and then round. However, what the question is actually looking for are unknown values in a certain step of the algebraic approach. So it says that eventually the student will arrive at a step that says that a times x is equal to bc over 3. And here b and c are not two distinct numbers or two factors, but rather bc is representing a two-digit number. My advice here is not get too worried that you can't picture the final step before you start. Just make good decisions, know the direction we're moving towards, and all should work out. Our first step will be to convert to exponential form. The giveaway here is that the numbers 16, 8, and 4 can all be written in base 2. So once we put this into exponential form, we'll be able to rewrite all terms using a common base. Next, note that whenever we have a question with a radical sign in the logs unit, we want to change that to being written as a rational exponent. So instead of the cube root of 4, we have 4 to the 1 third. And since 4 is 2 squared, it becomes 2 to the 2 thirds. Now we must obey our exponent laws. When two powers with the same base are multiplied together, the exponents are added. So here we are adding 3 with 2 thirds. We rewrite 3 as 3 over 1, and then quickly change that to 9 over 3 and add to that the 2 thirds, giving us 11 thirds. Because both sides of the equation are powers of base 2, we can say that the exponent of 4x must be equal to the exponent of 11 thirds. At this point we're done the question. 4 represents the parameter of a, and the 11 represents the two digits of B and C. Our answer is 411.